Yo, welcome back to the channel. So it's been quite a while since I released a new product. Um, but that's just because there's been uh, quite a lot going on in my personal life, mainly that I've moved house. So I'm in a new location now and uh, I'm finally able to start releasing some of the products that I've been working on for ages and I've just had them sat ready to release uh, but can't couldn't do anything about it until uh, I got my personal situation sorted uh, but that's all sorted now and I'm pleased to announce the release of my new product the Halo RC Pandora Pro essentially the Pandora Pro is a naked Inspire 3 so I've taken all the camera gimbal system and transmission system off of a Inspire 3 DJI drone and constructed this standalone box around it so that the camera and gimbal can be used independently from the drone. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail of that shortly. If you're not familiar with my work, uh, just over a year ago I released the Pandora which was where I took an Inspire 2 drone and removed all the camera, gimbal system and transmission system from that and took all the components needed to operate the camera independently and then built a box around it and that's where I got the name Pandora's Box because it's a box that can do all sorts of different things and uh, yeah, that's been way more successful than I thought it would be. Been really, really popular, not only with uh, people putting them on drones, but I've seen them put on RC cars, uh, those wire cameras, and um, I've seen them attached to the side of cars going 170 kilometers an hour and all staying nice and stable. Uh, so yeah, had a lot, lot of positive feedback from the original Pandora and the Inspire 2, uh, Naked Inspire 2, but of course when the when the Inspire 3 came out I was getting asked straight away if I'd be able to make one, uh, make a similar system for that. Now it's taken quite a lot of research and uh, development to figure out what it can and can't do, um, but yeah now I'm really pleased to be able to release this uh, standalone Naked Inspire 3 the Halo RC Pandora Pro. Now, unlike the original Pandora that could do both top and bottom mount by using the uh, extension cable, there is no extension cable or any software hacks for the Inspire 3 at this time that will allow you to run, the, run it upside down with the gimbal on top. So this one is just bottom, bottom mount only. But of course, that isn't such a bad thing, there's loads of uh, use cases for that um, and it uses this awesome 8K full frame uh, gimbal from DJI of course. There we go. So yeah, it's bottom mount only but um, I've got lots of uh, quarter 20 mounting points on the top there and on these side pods here and here so for rigging and attaching to uh, a car or whatever you're going to use this for um, there's loads of points for attaching the system to your setup um, i know my stuff is named mainly around drones so i have thought a lot about how this would be mounted to a drone it's obviously going to go on the bottom of your drone and i'll work with manufacturers for, uh, to adapt the, their bottom plate so that you can bolt straight down and bolt this onto the bottom i'm thinking something like an rr fpv rhino like a a big x8 um, whoop with prop guards this is going to be really good for using in tighter areas where the Inspire 3 is just not going to be able to fit and indoors. So if you can imagine strap it, attaching this to the bottom of a big Cinewhoop with your batteries on top and handles so that someone can obviously catch it because you won't be able to land it. Um, you're going to be able to use that in much smaller spaces than you would an Inspire 3. One of the uh, limitations of the system is that 
unlike the original Pandora that uses the Inspire 2, um, the Inspire 3 actually has some sort of low power mode. So when you first power it up, the gimbal doesn't actually have full um, authority to adjust. Uh, what that means is like, it's meant to be on a drone. So when it's on the ground, it wouldn't have, doesn't need full authority and full power to the gimbal. So only when the Inspire 3 takes off and it's armed, does it send full power and authority to the gimbal system. I haven't been able to trick this into full power mode without basically rebuilding the entire Inspire 3 around it. So completely impractical. But in low power mode, it still does stabilize, it still does function and you can control it all just the same as you would normally. Um, but when you when you're moving it, either car mounted or on a drone, when you hit about 80 kilometers an hour, you're gonna start seeing some little shakes uh, where the gimbal system just doesn't have enough power to, um, to stabilize. Uh, so it is limited to about 80 kilometers an hour, whereas the original Pandora, as I've said earlier, can go like 170, 180 kilometers an hour and still stabilize perfectly. Um, so that's its only real limitation. Other than that, it functions all the same as a normal, as the normal gimbal system on the Inspire 3. So lots of use cases where it would be either static and just following stuff where you're not even moving it along at all, uh, or 80 kilometers is quite fast. So any, anything up, any shoots where you can go 80 kilometers or less, it's gonna be perfectly fine for that as well. So like I said earlier, on a whoop, indoor stuff, slower stuff, where you're just following a target and um, maneuvering through smaller spaces, uh, this kind of system is gonna be perfect for that and much easier to use than trying to do it with an Inspire 3. That's its only real limitations. Um, I'll just pop this off and we'll take a bit of a closer look at it on the bench. Okay, so taking a closer look at it now, you can see that the it's mainly constructed from MJF print, uh, 3D printed nylon, that's these plasticky bits, and carbon fiber plate. And uh, it's a completely different construction concept to the original Pandora, just because the brain, the main uh, electronic unit inside the case is just completely different to the original Inspire 2. So the way I could mount onto, uh, onto it and secure it was completely different. But I've managed to come up with this design that keeps the whole unit nice and small, um, but while providing all the necessary uh, components and holding everything in place. You can see on the top here that we've got quarter 20 mounting points and on these side pods here and should be on this side as well, um, quarter 20 mounting points. That's so that you can um, either attach things to this uh, like um, using V-mount or nano plates on, on mounted to this and things attached to it like a screen etc or you use these mounting points to mount the camera to something else like a car or a crane rig or anything like that. You can see coming out the front here, we've got four SMA antennas. Um, that allows you to choose between what these are, 2.4 gigahertz, or you could use 5.8, or you could use a mix of both and then lock the unit on those channels kind of comes down to what, what, what you're using alongside this. Obviously, if you're flying a drone using O3, you probably want to lock this on 2.4. Um, but if you're not, or if you're using something else, you might need to lock it on 5.8, or it might not matter, and you could use a mixture of the two. Moving on to the back here, you can see we've got an XD60 power input. So it's a 6S input and got a power switch for that. So this switch just turns on the uh, Pandora Pro. 
there's another switch down here at the bottom that when there's power, 6S power attached here, you can turn this independent fan on at the back. That is, uh, I've done it that way so that just in case it does overheat, so if you're using it in a really hot environment for a long time and it starts to play up and it needs to cool down quickly, you can turn the main unit off um, but still leave the fan running so that it'll cool down quicker. Um, and obviously with it running you can either have it on or off, you might choose to not run that fan because inside here just behind this plastic cover uh, on either side are blower fans that exhaust hot air out of the bottom of the unit so it whether it actually needs that or not is uh, situation dependent um, but I've added that and on an independent switch so that you can use it or not use it got the uh, a nice secure slot for putting your SSD drive in you attach the gimbal to the bottom, still it uses the same mounting plate that comes off of the Inspire 3 but with the addition of my part going between the, the gimbal mounting plate and the actual brain that everything is built off of. Um, you'll be able to see more of that in the build guide as and when that is released. So when it comes to mounting this on the drone you're going to be using these mounting points on the top and attaching it to the bottom of your drone. Now the Pandora Pro or Inspire 3 both rely on a good GPS signal in order to stop the um, roll and other axes from wandering. Uh, the GPS is located just here on the top so when mounting it to a drone you want to have it so that it's mounted towards the front and this whole plastic bit is actually free and not blocked by other bits of carbon fiber so you just mount it towards the front of the drone and just make sure that this top section here is is free from carbon fiber and then you'll still be able to get a good gps signal that's also another reason why running it upside down doesn't really work um, and turning the gps over and all that it doesn't really it, it doesn't work so yeah it's just going to be bottom mount yeah, and that's about it really. As you can see, it's a really small unit. Um, it's going to be really easy to mount onto the bottom of a drone and hand catch, and really easy to mount onto a car or crane rig or other solutions. And yeah, can't wait to see what everyone uses this one for. This is going to be available as a kit so that you can build your own and there will be a build guide coming soon that tell you how to take apart how to get the brain and all the parts that you need to build this out of your Inspire 3 and how to assemble them into the Pandora Pro and there's the other option of where you can send me your donor Inspire 3 and I will build you a Pandora Pro and send you this back uh, and the, and the spare parts if you want them or need them and uh, both those options are available today on the website halorc.com so go and, and all the more details more photos and other stuff is on there as well so please head over to the website and check it out personally I feel like the Donut Inspire 3 should be a crashed one when maybe one with broken arms as long as the camera and gimbal system is all functioning fine that's all we need to build a pandora pro you could buy a brand new inspire 3 and turn it into a pandora pro but that's a lot of money to spend on a drone that you're effectively throwing most of it away and just taking the camera system out of it but it's your money at the end of the day and you might have other ideas of what you could do with the remaining parts etc so um, I'll leave that to you. Okay, so I hope you like what you see and uh, you're pleased with what I've been able to create and the size of the unit and its features. Um, I'd love to hear what you've got to say in the comments below. And 